So Felix Aguirre Aliasim has won the last three tournaments that he has played in. And uh, to be honest with you guys, I couldn't be any more happier for the guy. Um, as it turns out, I've only done one other video on him. I was just going back through my channel, but um, he for sure is one of my favorite players. I didn't realize he was such a big guy. I, I think he's like 6'4 or something like that. So I just, I love his game. He's definitely up there in my top, top uh, favorite players. You know, we all have our own personal preferences with mine's number one being Novak Djokovic. But I've always liked Felix. Um, if it wasn't that one video that I did on him, it was another video, one of the few that I've done on the guy side of things, where I talked about how I like how he has a different game um, that is a little bit different than the other players. And um, I just felt that he needed a little bit more to be able to break through. And I'm so happy to see him be able to do that now. So it looks like he's playing tomorrow in the Paris Masters tournament that uh, is going on right now. I just want to say for my subscribers, if you made it up to this point in the video, um, I just outlined in a post for the channel, which I'm so happy to have the community tab, um, that I appreciate you guys, and I am working to be better. I um, got a comment recently, which I didn't handle all that well, but I still feel the exact way that I left in my response, which is, you know, if, if the videos aren't the best for you and everything like that, and this channel isn't for you, I apologize. Um, I say in all my videos, and it should be expected with me continuing to upload that I am trying to be better. Um, but in all seriousness, I am. I'm actually working on a whole like YouTube setup here in this space where I, I sometimes make these videos um, that I'll make the videos for this channel as well as other channels. But for this one specifically, um, you know, the support has been amazing. I think we're at 309 subscribers at the time of making this video. And um, I just appreciate every single one of you guys for all the comments, the views, and everything. So I'm taking this serious. Uh, I'm going to work to be better with quality, not just quantity. Sometimes I just will upload a video just to make sure I'm still consistent. And um, I'm still going to do that, but I'm just going to, you know, work obviously to be better for you guys. Sometimes I'll take like a week, two weeks, maybe a month off. And that's not intentional. It's just kind of all over the place. And um, yeah, I'm putting in the work. So back to the more serious matter as i was mentioning in the beginning in a jokingly manner i haven't done too many videos on the guys um we're going to talk about three different things in this video it will be a little bit longer of a one as i start to transition the um, context and quality of the videos three different things pertaining to my thoughts on the atp side of things as i've as uh, quite a few of my most recent videos have been on the wta and i'll say it right now um it's just more exciting for me to watch the girls from Sabalenka, uh, Raducanu, you know, just they're so they're all just doing so well. It's so much more exciting for me to watch. And one of the three pillars that I want to talk about for the guy side is that a lot of these guys are just their games are way too similar. It's not like how it used to be. And I've talked about this in one of my other videos on the guys. Um, so you guys can debate it in this one if you want to, as I didn't get any comments on that video. I just love the sparking the debate um, in the three that we have. So right now, number one would be Felix has won three of the last tournaments he's playing. He's played. He's on a little bit of a spree. He's getting confidence. But then we have to we can't forget about Carlos Alcaraz. He now is actually the world number one. And so these guys are starting to get a consistent rhythm and winning and whatnot. So that's going to you know, how will that affect tennis as we move forward going into 2023? Who's going to win the Australian Open? Who's going to win, you know, etc. So that's something for us to talk about is Felix is doing good now, but when will Carlos come back and sort of win again? Is he going to win the Paris tournament, even though Felix is doing so well? I think they're on the same half, if I'm not mistaken. I know Felix is not on the same half as Novak. I was checking last night, so it's just going to be an interesting tournament. But um, that's pillar number one is that these guys are we see a lot of them just gaining confidence and doing well and they'll have good moments where they're starting to be able to find consistent results number two would be <clears throat> my main opinion and that a lot of these guys play so similarly um i just as i've said i'm not a hater of daniel Medvedev, but i just i really can't watch his game you know some there was a a um social media post someone did pretending to be him like we've seen people pretend to be Novak and Andy and Rafa and whatnot and uh the way they portrayed Daniel and kind of falling over as he hits his shots and I just can't stand when he stands 100 meters behind the baseline 
playing in the way that he does when I just believe big man tennis, you know, has kind of gone away and um, he's a big guy and he plays more of a passive game, if anything, in my opinion. But that's number two. Number three would be our our real number one, in my opinion, Novak Djokovic. Um, when will he return to the spotlight? Um, obviously, 2023 and going forward, you know, as, as we talk about Novak Djokovic, what tournaments will he be allowed to play in? I mean, it's such a ridiculous um, thing to have to say, but it is the truth in that we may not see him be able to go to Australia. So I just... <clears throat> that obviously affects the tour and I don't know I don't know how we can um factor him in factor him out I mean if he is able to play in a tournament right after the Australian Open given the fact that he won't be able to play the Australian Open will he even be in good enough tennis shape to be able to win the tournaments when he can play like this one right now Paris Masters he hasn't played I don't I don't know when the last time he has played but um, it's not easy for anyone to just take a long break and come back when these guys are playing as well as they are. So I just, I, as a Novak Djokovic fan, I am speechless in this situation where, you know, he, <clears throat> everyone believes he'll have years to come to be able to play. And I think so too, at least two, three more years. But, um, given the situation we are in, um, I don't, I don't know what it looks like. So those are my main three pillars on the ATP side of things right now. Like, my thoughts, like Novak Djokovic, is he even going to do anything? You know, number two, I, I just can't watch, like, the majority of these matches. They're too, like, it, there's no winner, you know, like, I want to see one-two tennis. I want to see big forehand, you know. Um, uh, there's a lot of just, like, like, long rallies and waiting for the opponent to make a mistake, and I can't watch that style of tennis. Um, I play it myself, but that's because I'm a smaller guy in person. Um, number three would be congrats to all these guys for starting to get results. I mean, we don't have the big four anymore, so um, it is just a little bit different for those that don't want to acknowledge the fact that this is a different time. You know, we don't have some of the older players that we had. I mean, Wawrinka and um, Gasquet and some of the names are still around, but um, it's just in my opinion, it's not about the level and which level is better, who, would, which generation is better, any of that kind of stuff. But um, this is a shift. We have gone through a shift in who wins these tournaments. I mean, even Gil Simone and Gasquet, some of these guys that are still around, it's just not the same as how it was in 2010 through 2015 or so. Um, we definitely now have different stars that we're talking about. And I think it's important to at least acknowledge it and talk about them for sure. I mean, Felix is one of my favorites. I'm so happy to see him now in the spotlight and being able to win tournaments where a couple of years ago, I mean, like I said in my last, the one video that I have on him, if it wasn't in another upload where I just talked about him, he just didn't have that gear to me to be able to beat one of the top guys. And um, I saw Francis do it one time where he was playing against Novak. I don't think Francis was able to I don't know if Francis has been able to beat Novak or anything like that but Francis definitely has proven that he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the top guys and I think now um Felix is has shown that and is ready for it too so going into 2023 I think it'll be exciting I think it'll be a year to remember um in terms of results I think we'll have new champions for sure and um yeah it's exciting but at the same time for me I really want to see Novak Djokovic back and in the winning circle. So <clears throat> those are my thoughts. Again, um, working to be better with these videos. I tried to stay organized here for you guys. So let me know if anyone did make it up to this point in the video. Um, but again, I'm working to make them better. So there may be a change in quality, change in length. Like you guys let me know what you guys think about the videos. But my initial thoughts for anyone that's still watching up to this point in the video um, is that I want to make them full like 30 minute long videos or something like that where we talk about more than just one topic and um, you know there would be a change in the scenery like um, I want to do this like I was talking about the YouTube setup like colored lights a microphone almost kind of like a podcast but it's more of like a show especially for this channel my other channels are a little bit different of a situation but uh for this one here where we talk about tennis 
yeah, let's keep it to tennis, keep it simple. You know, I just have a microphone and maybe some colored lights, a cool background and stuff, and we just chat about different things. I mean, who knows? I'd for sure be open to live streams when I can uh, for this channel, and we just talk about tennis. I mean, whether it's, like, how to play and those kinds of things, as I got some pretty good feedback in our community tab, you know, only a few comments or whatever, but one or two yeses and um needs of support or signs of support are important to me so again i appreciate you guys for everything if anyone does make it up to this point in the video my goodness i know 10 and a half minutes is a long time of talking but i could talk about this all day i'm going to be teaching it later today i'm who knows i may even go play as we have a big tennis ball behind me and so um i appreciate you guys for everything and let's keep rocking let's get to 330 subscribers by the end of the year that's my goal um, it's going to be very hard because we've become kind of stagnant in our subscriber growth. We were going up and up and up for anyone that is um, still watching at this point in the video. But I have some strategies as someone like I've mentioned and hinted towards in previous videos. I know a little bit of a little, you know, like a thing or two about growing on social media. So um, alongside just producing these videos and trying to be better with the videos, um, we'll be implementing some strategies, let's just say. So if you guys want to know more about that, too stay tuned that'll be coming out also but leave a like on the video if you made it up to this point i'll see you guys soon